Hello everyone, it's Kristen here and I'm back for our stitch along and we are going to be working triple feather stitch over on this side. So I've drawn myself four parallel lines, which essentially gives us um, sort of three spaces within which to work um, using a pearl egg cotton that I've um, tied a knot in. Let's just get rid of this little bit of fluff there. So I'm going to pop um, through at the top um, left of my parallel lines. And then we're going to really do the same that we were doing yesterday with our double, um, but we'll be adding one more stitch as we work our way across. So the first one is just putting in a Y shape. So going from the first to the second parallel line and down and creating a Y with the loop under, under the needle. And then for our second stitch, we're going to come over and across from the bottom of the, the Y or the V shape. And then we're going to come down to the line down here with the thread under the tip of the needle. And oops, sorry, I just bumped the camera. And then we're going to come over to the next um, spot over, which is here directly across. So to the third line across and then take our needle and angle it down with the thread under the tip of the needle. So we get our next loop. And now this was where yesterday we um, then started to head our way back, but we're going to do one more stitch. So we're going to come over to the middle of this one, angle our needle down to here and put our next stitch in. Then we're going to um, flip our thread over and we're going to come down from here over to the middle so you're coming coming across so I'll just um, get the thread out of the way and then we'll flip it over so I'm coming across from the Y there and angling it down to the middle of this one here flipping the thread over making sure the thread is under the tip of my needle and then bringing it bring it through to create my next Y and then coming over again straight across um, and angling it down flipping the thread over making sure the thread is under the tip of my needle and pulling it through and then coming across again to the further side Pulling the thread down, making sure the thread is under the tip of the needle and pulling it through. And then we start the process of working back the other way. So coming across, angling it down and pulling it through putting our little fluffy bits underneath it if we can or I can always neaten that up afterwards anyway and then coming across again angling down and getting our next loop and then coming across again getting our next loop over this way and then coming back the other the other way so flipping our thread over coming across angling back to the middle making sure our thread is under the tip of our needle and pulling through and then coming across again we're in that sort of fluffy zone but that's okay and angling through to the middle it's a bit harder to see because I can't quite see the lines here that I drew on but that's okay oops I 
think I did that loop slightly floopy. I'll just try and I might just fix that up because it wasn't exactly in the middle where it was meant to be. So I'll just take that stitch, take that stitch out and then we'll re-thread. So let's just, this, even this um, sort of goes a bit wobbly just because of the nature of this um, recycled pillowcase that I'm stitching on. So we want to come across from the middle here over to there, bring it down to the middle down here. And hopefully that's a bit e more even this time. And then come across from here, bring it down to here, flip our thread over, put it under the tip of the needle and pull it through. A little bit of fluff, we'll just try and stick that under the, under the thread. Okay, so we've got our three down there, which means we now go back the other direction. So come across from here angle it down and bring it back across and then across from here halfway angle it down pull it through then across from here angle it down and pull it through and then we're working back across the other way make sure our threads under the tip of the needle and pull it through and then coming across from here Angling it down, making sure the thread is under the tip of the needle. And then coming across again, angling down, flipping the thread over, putting the thread under the tip of the needle and pulling it, pulling it through. And then coming over, so we've got our three down there, yep. And coming over this way, back to here. And then over here and back to there. And then I think, maybe we'll do one more just to get it all the way over. And that will be that. So we'll pop through to the back and I'll tie that off in a moment. But there we go. That is our um, triple feather stitch. So I think that is quite cute. Um, yeah, my lines are a little bit more wonky, but it still, still worked out fine. So thanks so much um, for watching and we'll be back tomorrow to do feather stitch single, interestingly. So the book teaches us double and triple and then teaches us um, single, which, yeah, just looks like... Um, I'll give you a quick look at what it looks like. It looks like quite it's a, quite a simple one, but it will end up um, looking like that. So I'll see you back for tomorrow. And thanks so much for watching. I hope you're doing well and take care and speak to you soon. Bye.